Kevin Studi. Good evening. My name is Bill Rancic, the winner of the first season of The Apprentice. On behalf of the Trump Organization, I would like to thank you all for coming tonight. It has now been five years since I started the project in Chicago. But in those five years, I have learned more than the four years I spent at Loyola University. I have the honor of giving a toast to the man who helped me be who I am today. The man who we all know from his publicity stint and his contribution to New York City real estate, Mr. Donald Trump. It is most appropriate for me at this ceremony of honor to prevent some attributes that I have seen with Mr. Trump for the last couple of years. After leaving the Chicago project, I decided to go into Chicago real estate. At first, it was a little shaky, but when I asked Mr. Trump for assistance, he willingly agreed to help me get started. Trump even delayed an appearance on Saturday Night Live just to fly down and meet with me to discuss the future of the Trump company and the future of Chicago real estate. It was then that I truly understood Mr. Trump's passion for real estate and his perseverance for business practices. He demonstrated so much leadership that night and gained so much of my respect that I decided to delay the Chicago real estate and come back and work for the Trump organization. While I sat by Mr. Trump's side in the boardroom during seasons four and five, I noticed that he struggled more than previous seasons because there was more competition. His, vigil his vigilant eye for unsuccessful business practices help me understand how sharp he really is. When I went out into the, into the field to observe how the teams worked with each other, it was always a treat when Mr. Trump came to visit. I was amazed by the way he could walk into a room, create rapport with so many people, and then leave with everyone's respect. This man is who I would like to emulate in my future business ventures. Trump is an ardent boss with driving vision. He will surely work until the day he dies because of his undying passion for the Trump Organization. I am proud to have worked for a company with only the best standards and with a man who leads only with the highest expectations. Kevin Studi.